Hey guys and gals, hey, it's Hot Rod Thompson. Afternoons on Cat Country 102.9, and we've got another Nashville 2 Billings. Big welcome to Seth Turner and the High Desert Drifters. Yes, and sir. The Drifters are not here, but Seth is here. They, uh, they, they, they don't do this stuff. <laughs> they, it's kind of a tight room, though, too. Yeah, so. Well, they, they would be sitting against the wall going... <laughs> <laughs> they, so, they, they, they leave the personality to me, apparently. There you go. And what a personality. I'm not kidding you. Tell me a little bit about yourself, buddy. Ah, uh, well, we're uh, we're based out of Las Vegas. We've uh, we've all been we've all been there and back, but them more so. You know, they're they're uh, they're a band that when I'm not on stage, there's 200 years of music experience wow. up there, and and you can hear it. You know, we've we've been together nine years. I've been very lucky in that sense. I mean, we've lasted longer than the Eagles did the first time around. You know, and and uh, and you, you, it it comes out in our sound. You know, the the thing about the thing about my guys is that uh, you could plug anybody into my spot in that band, mm -hmm. and it's one of the best bands you've ever heard. And there you go. And I've been and I've been lucky to have them for nine years not kick me out to find somebody else <laughs> there you go hey you know and uh, i, I kind of wanted to talk about that is uh, in the promo video which is also included on this webisode here uh your touring uh, promo video for 2016 one of the things that seth uh, says in that is uh your still guitar player has a unique sound and that is something that is actually really hard to find it well it is you know and he he's got a he's got an ear like like nobody i've ever heard so he he's actually the producer on our albums that we've put out and well our first album and we're working on our second together mm -hmm. um and he and so he's just created he's found a way to create a sound that sets him apart from other steel guitar players you know so many so many steel guitar players want to sound like sound like moon you know a wayland wayland steel guitar player everybody wants to sound like that and mike just says mm, i'm gonna do my thing and then he does it exceptionally well everywhere we go everybody's like wow incredible some people say hey what's that then we tell them it's a cheese grater and they go okay <laughs> uh, but you know country music i understand well actually you guys can see this for yourself because uh, you performed at the high horse saloon last night you're doing it again tonight friday night and tomorrow night as well and tomorrow night drove 20 hours to come play your your nile rodeo yeah. taking me back to truck driving days man i tell you but hey we'd love to hear something uh, what you got for us today uh i thought i was just gonna hold it Hold it. Yeah. Damn it. Can I say damn it? <laughs> we can we can cut that out. We'll, we'll cut. Do you have anything that you? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I was kidding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's see. You you want to hear something that you've already heard or something that you haven't heard? You pick. You pick. Come Man, on. It is way too early for this. <laughs> He's forgotten more about the ways of this world Than you and I could ever hope to learn Trade you stories for some smokes and the whiskey you bring Prefers his bourbon, but he'll drink most anything He'll point your fingers, sit there and visit the past. Just sit there patiently until he gets back. He'll spin you tales so tall you refuse to believe. But the pictures on his wall are all the proof you need. Then he'll say, through it all, I'm still alive and well. A man as close to heaven as a gate to hell. Bend down the barrel of a German gun. Witness the birth of a healthy son. There been some good, some bad, some I'll never tell.
He'll sing the praises of Rose in their 65 years. He'll find a life found her is his only fear. Oh, now he'll tell you, if no one is perfect, she's as close as soul can be. Some damn fool things I've done and she stayed with me. Then he'll say, through it all, we're still alive and well. We've been as close to heaven as the gates of hell. Your world will change when you find the wall. Stories you'll have about that woman, son, there'll be some good, some bad, some you'll never tell. Well, after 83 years, I'm almost out of the game. I'll stand before my judge, and to him I will say, there's been some good, some bad, some I'll never tell. Been down the barrel of a German gun Witness the birth of my son's son There been some good, some bad, some I'll never tell well, There's been some good, some bad, some I'll never tell Yeah! Thank you. Good job. All right. So uh, we kind of want to know a little bit about Seth Turner, your inspirations. We know you come from Las Vegas. What can you fill us in on? Well, I grew, I actually grew up uh, in the Black Hills in Custer. Uh, graduated high school back there in 93. That's where I actually got my first uh, uh, singing gig. There was a show down there called Hillbilly Heaven. And mm -hmm. my choir teacher, I took choir for just an easy grade you know, I, 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 I didn't even know i could sing at the time i just was like yeah that sounds good that sounds like a blow-off class <laughs> drama and, yeah <laughs> and and uh and and i got to i got to be very close with my choir teacher and uh he uh asked me to audition for this show and i got on the stage for the first time and you know, I kind of, I had the, it's free to local, so I padded the audience, and yeah. so I get introduced, and people are cheering, and half of them are like, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> here, here we go, and, and, you know, and, and by the time I was done with it, I just, you know, I just knew I'd found my calling. I was, you know, I was 16 years old, you know, I'm, that's 24 years ago now, and I just haven't, haven't ever stopped uh -huh. doing it, and it's one of those things that it's, I'll keep singing until people don't want to hear it anymore, you know. So, but that's, and then moved to move spent spent my time in Nashville and left there and went back to Las Vegas. Uh, I've been in Las Vegas almost twenty years with that one year in Nashville and just, mm -hmm. and I just I love my job. You know, there's nothing quite like being behind the microphone and there's nothing like being with those with those men that play with me just when when you hear a sound when you create a sound and you send it out and you know and it's 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 just magic you know i i hate to, i hate to use a cliche like that but no it other really feeling like there, it. there's just nothing like it and, absolutely yeah you know, it, it's 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 certainly a calling and it was as, as a lot of people have pointed out to me over the years, I think, you know, music chose me. I don't think I chose music, so. It's kind of what they said about radio, too. You know, it's kind of a crazy thing how each one of us kind of fall in our, you know, police work, firefighter, singer, radio personality. It, it, it's what you were meant to do. Well, but you guys have the voices for it. You know, it's just like you, you, you. I had an implant. Oh, you had an implant. In, so. I imagine, I imagine when you were like little, you went up to your mom, <laughs> mom, can I get a glass of milk, please? And she's like, right after this. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah it, it's but yeah i mean I, I i dj'd for like four days once and i like i said i said no 
Because no. it, you you had to change tapes and yeah, and, car and, machines, woo, yeah, and you know, and and then stick to a schedule. I'm like, I just want to talk. I don't. I, I want to <laughs> tell funny stories and play cool songs. And like, no, you have to do this. I'm like. No. 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 <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna get a band. That way I can play my own stuff. That is right. Yeah, there you go. I'm do that. What a road you been down, man. Where were you right before this? Uh, I was in Fort Worth last weekend. Uh, we went down there. It was uh, I took a weekend off to go play two shows down in Fort Worth. There's uh down at the White Elephant in the stockyards, there's a songwriters around that's been going on for seventeen years now, hosted by my friend Brett Watts. And and so I played that, and that's that. That's one of those things. You just go in, and you get you just humbled instantly because you hear these songs that people write. That mm -hmm. it's it's really hard anymore to write a song that nobody's ever written before, you know. But but people's takes on themes are just amazing. And Absolutely. You, and, you, and you hear the, you know, and the songwriter's really the one that delivers the song. The way it's intended to be delivered, and you hear that, and you hear the emotion and everything, and and just their 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 ideas, and you just sit there and go, I don't want to play my songs anymore. You just right. you you feel so humbled by it, and it's and so I, I try to get down there as much as I can, but you know I I pretty much work seven nights a week, so it's hard to take a vacation and somewhere along the way taking a vacation i started feeling guilty about taking more than one day off so <laughs> man i understand yeah that's why we call them artists though you know recording artists writing artists you know it, it's expressing an emotion it is. And, it, it, um, it absolutely is, and it's. I'm, I'm sorry to cut you off. I just you got me going on something. It's, it, <laughs> it's you know, all right. It's, it's you know there. There are artists. There are entertainers. Most of most of what you hear on the radio these days, they're entertainers. They're taking somebody else's work and they're putting their mm -hmm. their thing on it. And you know, and it's. I don't like talking about myself. I hate it, but it's one of the things I pride myself on. Is that I'm both. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm a writer. I'm also an entertainer. I understand that that room that's out there that I'm playing You're to. You're original. Yeah, I, I'm playing to those people out there because, you know, most of the places I play, you know, we're, I'm there to sell beer. Nobody's, you know, half of them aren't going to remember my name when I leave that place anyway. I used to have a hat with a hole burned in it. People remembered the hat before they remembered the band. Oh, man. You know, but that was fine. It was a good trademark for a little while, but then I got tired of telling that damn story about how the hat got a hole in it. So I just quit <laughs> I just quit wearing I just quit wearing a hat. But you know it's so so my you know my job is to please the people who are out there because if they're happy, everybody's happy. We're happy, the owner's happy. You know, and so but when there's those few opportunities where I can be the artist I love that, but if, if somebody asked me to sing a Waylon song, I'm happy to do it. You know, mm -hmm. it's it's just I, I love I love singing other people's stuff, but it's nice every now and then when you have your own show, Absolutely. when it's your music and and people respond to it. When 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 we're down at uh, when we're playing places, I don't introduce my songs. I just play them and watch what the crowd reacts to, and and it's actually a pretty uh, pretty accurate depiction of. Uh, of how good the song is because mm -hmm. if they're dancing they like it if they're not dancing and they're talking i'm like well that song sucked it's an honest reaction, it's an man. honest reaction and and i but i love that because you can't grow if you if you don't you can't grow as an artist you can't grow as a person mm -hmm. if you're not taking the feedback that you get you don't get that you're stagnant yeah so and who wants that oh none of us do but you're doing a great job man I hear, you know, I've seen your videos on YouTube. You got to check him out on YouTube. Uh, Seth Turner, <laughs> hit the likes. All right, not the thumb downs, the thumbs up. Well, you can hit a thumb down if you want, but I mean, don't. Going back to honest reaction. Yeah, no, I, <laughs> no well, no, because people are like, I don't like it. You said I could be honest. I don't like it. Yes, you do. Uh, yeah. Yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> So tonight, once again, High Horse Saloon, tomorrow night, once again. Yep, uh, 9 to 1 both nights. Uh, and I'll tell you what, if you haven't been back in there, and this is uh, obviously... It's a beautiful this is, place. If, if you haven't been back in there, I haven't been back in there since uh, uh, it was Smitty's. 
And what what Reed and his partners have done in there, it is amazing. It, it's a beautiful, it's, beautiful place. It's beautiful. It's open. It's it's just it's a nice place to be. I we were really excited when we saw what they'd done in there. Just even the bathrooms are nice. It was <laughs> it was it was great. So come back down there. Come and 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 check out the uh, the the improvements and stuff down there because it's fantastic. All right. Tonight, tomorrow night, High Horse Saloon, Seth Turner and the High Desert Drifters. Fist bump it, blow it up. Blow Another it up. episode of Nashville to Billings. Thanks for watching. It's Hot Rod Thompson, Cat Country 102.9.